So let's have a look at the significance of the strait in some detail, because while Iran presents itself as the gatekeeper, if you like, there are a lot more players involved. The Strait of Hormuz is the only sea route in and out of the Gulf that tells you immediately why it is so important. And if we zoom in down there and actually place a, a ruler over the top of it using the tip of the United Arab Emirates as a starting point, you'll see that in any direction, it's certainly nothing more uh, than 100 kilometres before you hit land, be it the Iranian mainland there or one of these islands over here. Now, in this case, 56 kilometres of water sounds like a decent amount of space, but the actual shipping lanes are only three kilometres wide in each direction. And it was in the first half of 2018, in fact, that 17.4 million barrels of oil a day went through those lanes, around a fifth of the world's oil consumption, uh, coming from places like Iran, obviously, but up here uh, in Iraq and in Kuwait as well. Uh, further down, you've got Qatar, of course, which is the largest exporter of LNG, liquefied natural gas in the world. Its exports have to go through the straits as well. You go down into the United Arab Emirates, into Dubai, and here you've got Jebel Ali, the largest port in the Middle East, which handles up to 19.5 million shipping containers a year. They all go through the Strait of Hormuz. And don't forget as well, if we come further west again, based here in Bahrain, in this little bay here, you've got the US Fifth Fleet, America's naval presence in the Gulf, which can be deployed in the case of any heightened tensions.